Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah, I'm a registered dietitian, and since we are getting close to the end of 2021, I thought it would be a great time to talk about New Year's resolutions. Now, I think that goal setting is a very great thing. It is a tool that I use with all of my clients, but there's one goal that you will never see myself and my clients set together, and that is to lose X amount of pounds in X amount of days or to shoot for some arbitrary weight. While weight loss can be an appropriate goal for some people, when that is our main focus, we tend to lose focus of what's going well, what are we struggling with, and we often struggle with an all or nothing mindset around food and exercise. So in this video, I want to go over why weight loss resolutions often fail, why you should not make weight loss your New Year's resolution, and I'm gonna give you some alternate resolutions to try instead. Let's get into it. Let's first talk about why weight loss focused resolutions often fail. First of all, they are often very unrealistic. Setting goals like, I'm gonna lose 30 pounds by February, or I wanna get back to my high school weight. For some people, those are pretty drastic weight loss goals and they may be completely unrealistic. And when we don't reach that goal, we feel like we failed even though it was likely just our biology trying to protect us because that was a way too low of a weight for us to be at. Another reason why weight loss resolutions often fail is because they are done in the form of a fad diet or a quick fix. If you have that goal of losing 30 pounds by February, getting back to your high school weight, whatever, you likely are doing it in a way that is not sustainable. Juicing, detoxing, yada yada. Blah, 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 blah. Losing weight is very difficult to do, but so is maintaining that weight loss once you've lost it. And it's even harder to maintain that weight loss when you achieved it in a way that was not sustainable, like a fad diet, a detox, a cleanse, whatever. In order for weight loss to last, you have to do it in sustainable ways that you can maintain for the rest of your life. Things I always talk about, getting plenty of protein, incorporating resistance training, eating consistently throughout the day. Again, if your goal is weight loss, that's fine, but it might be more helpful to focus on the changes that are gonna get you there rather than the end result itself. Which leads me into my next reason of why weight loss resolutions often fail. They're usually too vague. Having a goal of lose weight, be healthy, get fit, these goals don't really give any guidance on how you're gonna get there. How are you going to lose weight? How are you going to get fit? How are you going to get healthy? Again, I'm gonna go over a whole bunch of sample resolutions you might set at the end, and those will be very helpful to help you lose weight, get fit, be healthy. And the last reason why I believe that New Year's resolutions often fail when focused around weight loss is they're often coming from an all or nothing mindset. Many individuals when trying to lose weight are either 100% on board, they're totally into it, or they're on the total opposite side of the spectrum where they don't really care about anything health related. We gotta meet in the middle somewhere. If you're eating perfectly one day and then binge eating everything in sight the next day, it might be time to reevaluate why that's happening. Being the healthiest version of yourself is not going to come from being 100% perfect or on all the time. The best way to be the healthiest version of yourself is to build consistent habits that you can maintain for life. All right, now that we've kind of touched on why I think that these weight loss resolutions often fail, let's get into why maybe you shouldn't make weight loss your resolution. Again, wanting to lose weight is totally fine. You have the choice to make any changes to your body that you wish. I just don't believe that should be your main focus. I have a whole video on why I think you should completely throw away your scale altogether. I will link that video below, but let's get into why weight loss should not be your main resolution this year. All right, first of all, if you have a weight loss goal, why would you wait till January 1st to start? There is no benefit to waiting for an arbitrary date to make a change. Start now. Pick a few small changes to incorporate now instead of planning to flip your entire life around in the spirit of weight loss on January 1st. Do some meal planning this week if you don't usually do that. Maybe sneak in one extra workout this week. Pack your lunches for work. Try to get more protein at breakfast. Drink water throughout the day. Pick a few small things you can do right now rather than waiting until January 1st to pick some crazy fad diet to try. Another reason that you probably should not make weight loss your resolution this year is your weight probably isn't the main problem. If you do struggle with your weight and you are wanting to lose weight, it may help to ask yourself, what is the main root cause that causes your weight to be a struggle for you? Do you eat emotionally, like when you're stressed or tired or bored or sad? 
If so, how can we get to the root cause of those feelings and cope with them in other ways besides eating? Or do you have a poor relationship with food and that is what causes your weight to yo-yo? If you are constantly on a diet, off a diet, on a diet, off a diet, you view food as good or bad, you have that all or nothing mindset. You feel guilty when you eat certain things or certain amounts. These are all signs that you may not have the greatest relationship with food. And if we are going to live the healthiest version of ourselves, we have to deal with those problems first. And this is where working with a registered dietitian or a therapist can be very, very helpful. Another possible root cause of why you may struggle with your weight could be from feelings of stress. As we know, stress can make it very challenging to lose or maintain our weight, not only for physiological reasons, but also because of emotional eating. Or the stress that our body is feeling is coming from other things, like not getting enough sleep, or chronically doing HIIT workouts seven days a week and putting our body under a lot of stress and tension. There's a lot of reasons why your body could be feeling very stressed. And while it's okay to occasionally eat emotionally, that's not a bad thing. You didn't fail if you do that. We have to remember that food is not going to fix the issue. We have got to get to the root cause to figure out why we're feeling stressed, what is putting our body under a lot of stress, like a workout, lack of sleep, whatever. Okay, so now that we have discussed why weight loss probably shouldn't be a resolution this year, let's talk about some other options that could be a good fit instead. I want to go over a list of health promoting resolutions along with some options for those who don't even want to focus on food or exercise as a resolution. All right, I'm going to read these off and I'll be sure to have a picture of the list on the screen somewhere. So for our health promoting resolutions, I have got eat protein, fiber, and or healthy fat at each meal and snack, try to eat every three to four hours, find exercise that you enjoy and actually want to do, meal planning, so maybe like try planning out like three or more dinners for the week instead of just trying to wing it all the time, and that can involve making a grocery list, try a new recipe each week, eat breakfast daily, sleep seven to nine hours a night, manage stress, ditch the fad diets, start the day with water or in general just drink more water, improve your relationship with food, pack your lunch for work or school, or work with a registered dietitian. And then let's go over some resolutions that have nothing to do with food or exercise. Read X number of new books in a year. Set a new bedtime routine. Create a morning routine. Journal for 10 minutes every morning so that could go along with that morning routine. Don't use social media for 30 minutes after waking up. Create a cleaning schedule. Say something positive to yourself every time you have a negative thought. So really getting into that whole mindset work. Um, and last one could be to floss your teeth routinely, which is personally my goal because I'm really bad at that. So I really challenge you all to think about a different resolution this year. If you are someone who every January says to yourself, you're gonna lose X amount of pounds by this month and you end up feeling like you failed when you can't achieve that goal. Let me know in the comments below what resolution you're setting for yourself. I would love to hear it. I think, again, mine's going to be probably flossing my teeth and trying new recipes. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like if you did learn something. Don't forget to subscribe to see new videos that I put out every week. And I will see you guys next week for the last video of 2021. All right, bye guys.